Welcome to the video. It's been a long time coming. I've needed to film for you guys for a while and I've really been putting it off due to personal reasons. Your girl's mental health is struggling, but what we're not gonna do today is make today's video all about quarantine. I've just talked about it like way too much to be honest and I'm just like over thinking about it, over dwelling on it, and I just want to make somewhat of a positive video. So in honor of festival season basically being completely canceled. A rave company reached out to me and they wanted to send me an outfit to post on Instagram, which I'm going to do. This video is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form, but I figured, okay, if I'm gonna get a free rave outfit, then I am going to film a get ready with me and transform myself into a rave girl, in which I usually am, but this year I sadly am not because every single thing is basically canceled or postponed and everything that's postponed is basically in threats to not happen. Yeah, we're gonna basically turn myself into a Rave girl and pretend that I'm going to a festival but the festival is non-existent so we're just gonna do some makeup and talk for as long as my camera stays alive so I'm gonna start off I already did my face so I'm gonna use ultra lip rose hip oil lip gloss I got this from like a boutique online I'm not even gonna like pretend like I'm super clean right now like sorry if my room looks kind of messy behind me I just I don't really care you know like I I, I don't care anyway so let's do some bronzer and while we're doing this while we're getting ready i am going to tell you guys maybe like one story a lot of you guys liked my trip story videos like when i tripped on acid so i'm gonna share like a festival story time in honor of everything being canceled and in honor of everybody watching this video are probably mostly festival goers because yeah that's literally what the title is so i have posted videos in the past where I talked about like tripping on acid and um, my experiences, my bad experiences, they were mainly bad. You know, it's a very rare thing. I don't condone it. I'm not sitting here telling you to do it. But I know a lot of my viewers watch those videos, so clearly you guys liked it and or relate and things like that. So I'm like, why the hell not? I'm literally going to be 25 this year. I am a grandma. So if I wanna talk about certain things of that nature, but put a disclaimer because I am not promoting this, especially to anybody who's underage or, you know, anybody that needs guidance in their decisions. Don't listen to me, but so many of my subscribers I meet, I know rave and go to festivals. Drugs should never be abused. Be good, be smart. But on top of that, psychedelics are, and I think is like kind of commonly known, they actually are quite safe compared to some other party drugs. I really don't see them as anything other than like, a catalyst to opening up your brain and expanding your mind truly and kind of making you see things in a different perspective but we are doing makeup we're gonna tell the story why does everything just look like shit already let's do blush and then powder and then more bronzer let's do that because the blush is cream okay this was day three of EDC Las Vegas last year I'm also telling this story because as some of you might know that are watching this, EDC got postponed till October 2nd to 4th, and a lot of people speculate it's still not gonna happen, and that they're gonna cancel festivals for the whole year. I don't necessarily believe that, but if it happens, it happens. If that's what needs to be done, that's what needs to be done, you know? I was gonna be leaving from like, probably when this goes up, it would've been like a week. I was supposed to leave on like May 13th, grab the RV with all of my friends, and go to Vegas. It literally breaks my heart. I was doing Camp EDC for the first year. I'd never been more excited in my life for a festival, honestly, and it got taken away, and that's okay, yes, that's life, but it's still sad. And so it got rescheduled, and I'm heartbroken. That's my anniversary trip. That's the trip I take with all my friends, and it's just like the trip of a lifetime. So basically, I think I told you guys a little bit of the bad stories of last year in some previous videos. There honestly were some pretty bad stories. Like, it wasn't like the most lit time until literally day three of EDC. I only took very little. I started off with a half, half of a tab, and that's really not a lot. I was like, okay, hey, it's last day of EDC. Let's full send, right? Let's fucking full send. Why are we going to be sober right now, okay? God, I love blush, you guys. Like, I could just put on, like, pounds of blush, but since we're doing a rave look, it's like, why not? Be a little extra. And my friend, he had this stuff. My friend basically told us that this stuff was, like, very, very pure and very, very good, and 
it was more expensive and he only had a little bit and he wanted to share it with us so me and Seb took our halves of LSD and we go with him and we go to like a set we go to San Holo and San Holo if you guys know who that is is a freaking amazing artist he literally like plays guitar on stage while he like DJs and stuff and he gives like really positive messages like stay vibrant like all these cute little things like he would say and it was like really emotional everyone was vibing it was the last day of EDC we were all like sad as hell but like this was the day to go hard and like really appreciate your friends and like love your significant other He was saying all these things like I know today's hard but tomorrow's gonna get better and like <laughs> that's not exactly what he said but like he says really like uplifting emotional things like that. So yeah all this like emotional stuff I low-key like started crying and I was like why the hell am I crying? So I like tried to hide it because like I don't like to show my weakness. And we were with our friend and we just like loved the set. It was like so beautiful so we ended up leaving and we had like times with our other friends and we had like a big group of people like I'm telling you this probably had like 15 people and we all were like in separate groups. It was like me, the friend that gave Gave us the LSD and Seb and like somebody else random like some random guy <laughs> and then it was like all of our other friends split into like five separate groups and so we all wanted to go to different sets do different things some were sober some were drinking some were high whatever you know it's just like everything was different so we were all like doing our own thing because it was the last day and you have to like full send it the way that you want you can't just like do whatever everybody else wants because it's the last day of EDC freaking Las Vegas we have like this meeting time I don't remember the specific times or anything but we had this meeting time and it was like under the fire tower <laughs> which you guys might know about if you went so that was like the set meeting spot we had times and like mind you you know it's EDC that thing is huge like EDC is huge there's crowds everywhere you meet people you get like distracted all these different factors that make it so hard there's no service on your cell phone that make it so hard to stay with your group like once you split up you're pretty much split up for life right well not with our group on day three at EDC <laughs> our fucking group like this was honestly the best day of my life like I'm not even kidding like talking about it makes me so happy So we we went for the first time to the meeting spot every single person was there waiting for us There was literally like at least 10 people and they were all waiting for us I'm telling you we're all in small groups So the fact that we're all caring enough to come back to the meeting spot and like meet up with each other at a festival or a rave Is like some next level best friend shit like you're telling me like these people care enough to like come back and make sure We all get to like stay together for portions of the night and like see certain sets all together so we see everyone we're like yo <laughs> and we were like so freaking stoked like I can't even like explain how stoked we were to like see each other all there because we totally did not expect anybody to be there and they were all sitting there waiting for just us because we were the last ones so we like meet up with everyone we all vibe we all walk to I forget one of the sets I think it was like Zed's Dead so we all go to Zed's Dead we're all like vibing in a circle just dancing and I just felt so happy i was like the happiest that i've ever been like surrounded by all of my friends we all like basically split up throughout the night quite a few times but then would always meet back up at the time we decided at the same exact place everybody followed a direction nobody got lost nobody got distracted nobody put like anybody else above like our group of friends like they didn't just like go off with other people like they put our group above everything and it was literally like the sweetest just like best night of my life so we split up from everyone like midnight probably like midnight like literally middle of the night around like one ish I think one or two I think it was like one and we really wanted to go see snake hips which you guys know is like my favorite DJ DJs there's two of them so they all wanted to go see Elenium which is great I love Elenium just as much but I've seen Elenium I've never seen Snake Hips at that point so I was ecstatic me and Seb were off to Snake Hips we were like honestly we'll see Elenium another time he'll be on like every other lineup it's okay we're gonna survive so we went to Snake Hips and I don't even know how to explain it so they had like a fireworks show and everything and this was the most beautiful you guys the most gorgeous fireworks show I have ever seen in my entire life the fireworks were just going off you guys just literally going off and the music was going and we were just like and then snake hips comes on immediately after we start watching snake hips and I'm not even kidding this is the best set I've ever seen in my life I'm screaming Seb's like whoa I'm like oh my god like we're literally like screaming because this is the best musical sound I have ever heard I was getting the rap jams I was getting the R&B jams I was getting the funky groovy jams the pop jams like I was getting all the moods I could have ever possibly been in in like one musical set it was everything I wanted them to be in more I literally came to EDC 
with the thought and I told every single person I don't even care what happens this weekend I just want to see snake hips everyone just vibing like the crowd was really small at first because Elenium is a really hard person to like, compete with so everyone pretty much decided to go to Elenium and there was very few people there I was feeling really deeply for them and I was like oh my god what if they think like nobody likes them like what if they think nobody wanted to show up like oh my god and I was like having like this weird anxiety for them which like is really weird like I was having really bad anxiety for them but like they know they're bomb the whole way through like people just slowly trickled in because they were literally bringing people into their set with how good their music was I even said in my tattoo video last year I made an updated tattoos video last year I even said that this butterfly tattoo right here I literally said for my butterfly tattoo right here that I got that because of that moment because when we were watching it all these little butterfly figures would like fly around because like the performers have like butterfly things and they like fly and I just remember looking up at them and they were like beautifully like blowing in the wind and I was like oh my god like this is the best night of my life like I just feel so happy and so complete everything's living up to expectations like everyone's meeting up with each other friends are just like bonding and like having the best time the music is so great like it was like an undescribable feeling you guys like honestly living my best fucking life and so I saw those butterflies and I was like yep I'm getting a butterfly tattoo so I knew like from that moment that that was what I wanted so we watched the set it ends and I could not stop crying bawling my eyes out like baby blubbering <laughs> could not stop crying because snake hips just ended so I just kept crying I literally have a picture of it I'll put it on the screen Seb was like trying to calm me down and like chill me out we went to go watch this guy molding lightning like I don't even know how to explain it it was so interesting so I was captured by that guy for like 20 minutes so we met up with everybody and stuff every time it was amazing like seriously but then we would split up at times or people would want to go on rides and stuff people wouldn't like it would just be different so I remember in line I was having all these like introspective thoughts and I wrote in my notes last year <laughs> I wrote in the notes and I was like live every day like it's day three or something like that so I was literally like this level of happiness and like friendship and love and like everything like should be lived every single day like why just now so I like wrote that in my notes and then I wrote you have to be there just go or something like that because I was talking about this girl that came on the trip that didn't want to go so that was like my thought was like if she just came she would have like had the time of her life and I was like writing that on my like notepad and I was like you just have to be there go like just do it <laughs> and, like I laugh at that note every time I want like a smile because like I literally wrote that in the moment of like looking at my phone and everything was like all crazy like writing down all of my introspective thoughts but and then we went on like this pirate ride the pirate ride felt like I was like flying into space like literally because it goes up goes up one side and then up the other side we weren't even like in the back of the pirate ship which goes the highest we were literally like the closest one in the middle which goes the least highest and it legitimately felt like we were flying into space and I will never forget it like we were screaming the wind was just like in our hair we were just living our best fucking life yeah I'll I'll like never forget that night and then um pretty much it ended shortly after that we found some new artists and stuff made some friends then we stayed till sunrise that was like the saddest literally the saddest moment of my life is like staying till sunrise at EDC day three which like you have to do so you're gonna have to deal with it every single time you go to EDC because like you can't not not stay till sunrise pretty much all three days but definitely not day three I mean definitely on day three you have to stay oh my god I have not put this on in so long this feels so weird but just like a little glimmer can't hurt nobody you know and then we walked to shuttles and walked home I had literally just done three days of EDC three days of like walking to get food three days of like getting ready like you know it's basically like a marathon like it's literally so much work and I had done all this work and stuff right I had done all this physical activity for three days and right when we got off the shuttle to go back to the hotel I was like I can't walk anymore I need to uber I need to uber I'd never ubered once this whole trip back and forth all the walk we did everything we freaking did I never needed a newer once but all of a sudden day three the home stretch we're almost at the finish mark I need a new all of a sudden like my legs were literally like jello weights like imagine like a really really heavy jello like that's what my legs felt like like I was like I can't do it like I just can't walk like, I get very like heavy like I just don't want to do anything I just want to like sit down which is like weird but sometimes also sometimes I'm like 
10 times more energetic than I normally am so it really just depends sometimes I'm like a wait so but I was also tired so it made sense you know I was like over it been three days of going buck wild we stopped on the way home looked at the flowers I took a picture of the flowers because they looked so pretty we had lunch with a random raver inside of the hotel or breakfast I guess you could say it was literally like 8 in the morning <laughs> with a random raver from the hotel we all ate lunch together and I was still on LSD at this moment and because it lasts really long in my system I don't know what it is like people like stop tripping after like a few hours like my boyfriend But like I literally will trip like until I go to sleep which could be however long I want to stay awake So we like went to McDonald's and we met the raver and everything we all had lunch and like got to know each other He was like a guy I forget his name. I think his name was Jesse in that moment I was like we're just like this is never gonna be the same in real life Like when we go back to real life Like we're not just gonna get to go have lunch with ravers at McDonald's at 8 in the morning because we all just experienced the same magical experience You know like that's not gonna happen and those kind of thoughts break my heart after leaving festivals and stuff because it's just such a different world In what world in regular life? Can you just go to McDonald's and like eat lunch with a random person like get to know each other? I'm gonna need to get a new liner This one ran out really quick so yeah, that was kind of like my positive trip story, I guess, because I've only told like negative crazy ones, but that was like the best one of my life. That oil really did help. That's really good to put on your lips, like any kind of oil. Wow. So what are we going to take? We're going to take any lip liner that I can find. Okay, so we're going to take Boldly Bare. I haven't listed any of my products or anything, but you know what? I don't really think I need to because nothing changed and nothing looks that good or is worth talking about. Boldly Bear is a really nice color. Instead of putting it all on my lip, which I do sometimes, I think I'm gonna use Glossier Lipstick and Cake. I love this lipstick. It's like not pinky, which I love. Like I am not about pinky lipsticks. I like the red tones, the red or mauve or brown undertones, which is exactly what this is. So, and I could definitely do some glitter. Should I do glitter? Okay, so this is the fun part. This is what I would do every time before going to a festival. I would always add these little gems onto my eye area. I get this little e.l.f. glue from Amazon, and then these gems are from Amazon as well. You can pick any color you want. I tend to go for the lighter colors um, since they're like around your eyes, and I feel like it kind of opens it up. And then I just stick it in the corner of my eye right here. Obviously, don't get it in your eye or anything like that, but just like in the corner. And you don't need like a ton of glue or anything. And just kind of put it on like the line of like your winged eyeliner. This is exactly what I do every single time. So I'm going to take the glue and put it all over my cheek as if I'm rubbing it in like lotion. So now I take the glitter and just dab your finger in it. And start putting it on your cheek. And just everywhere where you put the glue. I feel like that looks pretty cute. And I usually just do it on one side. So yeah, that's pretty much to the extent that I go with makeup for rays and stuff. I don't really go too crazy. This is basically the festival makeup that we just did. I hope you guys had fun with me doing that. I'm going to go crimp my hair, put on my outfit, and I will show you the finished product. Guys, like I'm literally sad. Like I am so sad. Like it's beautiful outside. The weather is getting good. I just want to rave. so much fun today filming this video honestly it gave me some nostalgia i hope you enjoyed the little story time and leave me some comments down below on what you want me to film because i'm absolutely clueless right now and that in turn is making me upload a lot less and i hate that i hate doing that to you guys i would love to just like make more but i want to know what you want to see so i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching do not forget to hit the subscribe button follow me on tiktok twitter instagram all those places i'll have a cute picture in this outfit probably when this video goes up and also don't forget to subscribe to my only fans if you want to see more exclusive 18 plus content of me and I will probably be doing a little shoot in this outfit but I love you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see your lovely beautiful faces in my next video bye guys